Hey, what's going on dudes and dudettes? I am the Mystical Green Beanie, and something that I often hear in not just the comic book YouTube community, but the comic book community as a whole these days is SJW politics are ruining Marvel Comics. And while I don't think that's entirely untrue, I don't think that's entirely true either. And I certainly feel like that's one of Marvel's big problems at the moment, but I don't think that's the main problem. And in fact, I don't really think that Marvel has a main problem at the moment, uh, but much rather they're suffering from a series of different problems, but everyone's just kind of latching on to the most recent one. Okay, so the first big problem that Marvel has, and is the thing that I feel started this whole downward spiral in the first place, is their reliance on event comics. And this is something that started way back in 2005 after House of M. Because after House of M got published in 2005, Marvel has published 28 event comics. 28. That's in the past 12 years. And just to give you some context for how utterly absurd that is, compare that to DC, who has had 11 event comics in the past 12 years. 11. 28. Another one of Marvel's major problems is what feels like their need to have an annual relaunch. Because since 2012, Marvel has relaunched and renumbered their entire comics lineup four times. Four times in the past five years. There was Marvel Now, there was All New Marvel Now, there was All New All Different Marvel, then there was Marvel Now 2.0, and with Legacy coming out later this year, they are going to yet again relaunch and renumber their entire comics line and that will be the fifth relaunch in the past five years something else that marvel has had serious issues with is making it very clear to fans that the films and tv shows take priority and the comics just kind of play second fiddle and this is not a recent issue this is something that marvel has done uh, since i started reading marvel comics but it wasn't as offensive and intrusive as it is now, because back in the old days, holy shit, I consider 2002 to be the old days. Uh, but back in the old days, when Marvel wanted to, you know, change or alter their comics to reflect the movies in any way, shape, or form, the changes would be cosmetic. You know, maybe one of the artists wanted to draw Professor X to look more like Patrick Stewart, or the artist on the Fantastic Four book, whoever that might have been at the time. Uh, would have wanted to give the Fantastic Four the costumes that they had in the films. But the changes weren't drastic. Honestly, the most intrusive the changes ever got was when Peter Parker was given organic webbing because he had organic webbing in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films. But that's about it. But nowadays, in a post-Marvel Cinematic Universe world, they are completely fine with altering characters and their characterizations to match their MCU counterparts. And it's gotten to a point now where it feels like the comics are just advertisements for the MCU. And to top it all off, let's talk about the SJW politics. Because that is the thing that everyone's pointing to uh, as Marvel's biggest problem. But here's the thing. Left-wing politics aren't the problem. The problem is that everyone in all of the books are saying the same things and preaching the same politics. That's the problem. There's no opposing viewpoint. There's no counter argument. And if there is one that's presented, well then it's from the mouth of an antagonist or a bad guy. Now I myself am a moderate who leans more towards the left. And a lot of the politics that are being presented in Marvel Comics right now are politics that I kind of agree with, but I completely understand where a lot of Marvel Comics fans are coming from. It feels like every Marvel comic right now is being written by Anita Sarkeesian. And while I do believe that politics belong in comics, uh, I'll admit the heavy left-wing ideology that Marvel has adopted feels excessive and pandery. But yeah, those are my thoughts. But what about you? What do you think are Marvel's biggest problems right now? Do you think it's the politics? Do you think that it's the constant relaunches? Do you think it's all the events? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you like this video, Hit the like button, share support the channel, and if you want to see more content like this, all you have to do is subscribe. I'm the Mystical Green Beanie, thank you for watching, and as always, until next time, 
Adios, Sanchez. Adios.